We are talking about fleece Navidad. Those pattern options that I plan on using to go with the fleece that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. All right, during the fleece sale that was at Joanne. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we are going to talk about 12 patterns that I am using fleece for. Yes, yes, yes. So how this is going to work I'm going to show you 363 three, which comes up with 12 patterns. All right. So I'm going to show you three McCall patterns six simplicity patterns and then three new look patterns that I plan on sewing in fleece that most of them are new patterns that you could agree with me with, all right? So let's go ahead and get right on into this video. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pattern that, of course, I already have all of these patterns, but I just want to show you the patterns and I'm not gonna show you the fabric because I will solidify my January sewing plans with these patterns and fabrics then, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so the first pattern that I am planning on sewing up pretty soon. Now, all of these are patterns that I'm going to show you, but I do plan on sewing these within the next few weeks. Now, I know before you guys even say, Rochelle, would you do a sew along for it? I have plans to do a few sew alongs for these, um, but I'm not going to solidify which ones I'm going to do sew, sew alongs for. At this time, I will tell that when I look at my calendar for January, because you guys know like I have to be able to have enough time to do sew alongs for you guys. I do like doing sew alongs, but I have to make sure it makes sense for me to do a sew along, all right? That's number one. Number two is simply because some of these, I like to do the sew alongs for some that are easy, but some that are more challenging as well. So I'm gonna show the patterns, and whenever I get around to the sew along, I will let you know, all right? So the first pattern is 80, McCall's 8343. Now we talked about this pattern, which is a pullover top pattern. Um, now we talked about this pattern when I picked it up for the fall time. And you guys know that with this pattern, it is similar to McCall's 8143. Now, yes, I do have that pattern. I did that for the uh, five and below with Talisha from Creativity by T way back in March. However, I decided to pick up this pattern as well, and I'm going to do it as a two tone. So I did, I was thinking of Christmas colors and I did pick up some fleece in red and white. So I do plan on either doing it that, that style <laughs> pretty much, or maybe changing it to like a black and white or a gray and white because I picked up a ton, I mean a ton of fleece that was on sale last week at Joann's, all right? So that's the first pattern that I chose. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is McCall's 8347. I'm gonna make sure that I put all of these patterns up on the screen so you're able to see them. But this pattern, I wanna do view C on that pattern. Now, the reason why I wanna do view C on the pattern is simply because I like that button placket and I do have a solid color fabric that I wanna use for this. However, I do also have like a plaid style fabric that I think would go amazing for this one as well. I'm up on the fence on which one I want to choose, but I know that you guys will probably ask for a sew along for this. Now, like I just said, I don't know if I'm gonna do a sew along for it. I may do a watch me sew and kind of put in tips and tricks of what to do and talk through the more challenging parts of this. I'm not sure yet, but this is the second pattern that I chose, all right? Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is McCall's 8351. So I like this two piece um, jumpsuit style set. Now I did pick a black and white fleece for this one. Now I know on the back of the pattern, it does say that you can use knit, but like I said, I wanna use a lot of fleece because I do not have a lot of fleece things and because the temperature have just dropped to 40s and 50s here in Orlando, Florida, I wanna make things with fleece instead of, well, fleece and flannel right now because I have a lot of it 
and I just and I purchased the I purchased some last week and then I had some already in my stash so I just kind of want to use some of the ones that's in my stash as well as the ones that I purchased for me and my daughter um this upcoming year okay so those are the three patterns that I picked up from McCall's let's go ahead and move over to simplicity patterns all right so the first simplicity pattern that I want to use fleece for is simplicity 9684 all right so with this pattern I um, am looking at doing this hooded coat and jacket now this just look like a basic hooded jacket coat like lightweight and everything so I do want to do this pattern. The view that I want to do is view B on that pattern. I, I don't need it super long or super short. I just wanted it to be like kind of like in the middle of the two. So I think it'll work for that for sure. But I have a good fabric in mind for this one as well. I'm not going to tell the fabric because I rather show you guys during the January sewing plans. All right. So let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 9685. Um, so for this pattern, I plan on doing view B on this pattern. And this pattern is just like a Mrs. Coat and jacket. Now I'm just gonna tell you the fabric that I plan on using for this one. I have this gorgeous leopard fabric that I picked up a year and a half ago. Um, if you look at my, I think it was my December sewing plans from last year in 2021. Um, this one, I showed the fabric, I believe in that video, it was a leopard fabric that's fleece. Okay. So I was going to use that when I made my anniversary dress last year, did not get around to making the coat. So I want to use that same fabric for $96.85. Now for that pattern, I plan on doing view B, like I said, on the pattern, and I think it would be so amazing to do. Now you guys know it is the coat C series. It's not gonna be part of the coat series because the coat series ends this month, but I am still on a high from the amount of response that I have gotten on the blazer. So I'm still making some more coats, okay? <laughs> Into the new year. All right, let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 96.91. Now this pattern you guys know is like a uh, family, so family style lounge wear type, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm doing all the views on this pattern, okay? You can maximize your wardrobe doing all the views on the pattern, view A, B, C, the shorts, and then view D, that flannel. I'm gonna make that in flannel, not fleece on that shirt. So I do plan on doing that. Um, my family's been trying to get me to do a shirt for them, so we will see how that goes. But that is one of the patterns that I wanna do. Moving on to the next one is 96.92. Now for this pattern, um, it is basically a unisex jacket. I love this pattern. I picked it up already. So for this pattern, I plan on doing view B on the pattern. And I feel that I don't need the Sherpa like you see in view A. I don't wanna do that Sherpa style view. So I just wanna do a basic jacket and make it in fleece and make it really, really nice and all that good stuff. All the feels, okay? So that is one of the things I wanna do with this jacket. All right, moving on to the next pattern. The next pattern is 9694. So this one is like a boys and a men's jacket. Now I know you're wondering like, are you sewing this for your husband? Are you sewing this for your son? Nope, I'm sewing it for myself in a fleece. And I do wanna do that beanie and the um, fanny pack that you see on the pattern. So for this, I thought about doing the vest for my son. We shall see depending on time, but the, this is a pattern I really want to do for myself as well. Just to have, because if you guys don't know, I am a huge blazer um, jacket person. <laughs> I always have to have one in my office just in case I get a little coat. So I do like blazers and jackets and that's my vibe. And I just feel like I need to put more into my closet this upcoming season. All right. Um, and let's go ahead and talk about the next pattern, which is 9695. And that pattern is a girls and a boys style, like hoodie and um, pants. So for that pattern, it's for my daughter and we will be color blocking. I do have another pattern in mind. One is like a Mimi G pattern. 
I, I'll go ahead and put up the pattern up on the screen. But um, for this, for the Mimi G uh, pattern, I will probably omit the kangaroo style pocket at the front and just color block that hoodie. And then Norris has a pattern that has like uh, the, the joggers and do the jogger pattern to kind of like have a mommy and me, his and hers, even though I don't do mommy and me's anymore, but like a, a mommy and me style, um, you know, dress alike style, look alike mommy and me style, you know, hoodie and jogger style pattern. So I think we may do that, but different colors because she already picked her colors. She loved the colors that she likes. She, it's pastel, so it will be good for her. But me, I pick different colors colors for mine all right so just want to make sure of that now that i talked about the simplicity ones let's go ahead and move over to those last three patterns that i picked up for new look so the first pattern that i picked up for new look is 6740 all right and this pattern you guys it just came out like in the fall and i really wanted to sew this for my holiday party that i just had friday <laughs> which is why you know like uh yeah Long story, but it was a nice holiday party, I must say, okay? And I'm not saying that just because of where I work. It was really lit. It was turned up, all right? Um, but anyway, uh, for I wanted, to, I wanted to do this for the holiday party. However, um, it was a casino night, and this would be great for a casino night. However, it was super cold Friday, and... I just wasn't feeling like wearing a dress, putting on a long coat. I just was not feeling like doing that. Plus the amount of time of getting home, getting my children ready and everything. It just was not enough time to be sure to make it back on the other side of town in the amount of time given. So I 86 that out and decided to do an ugly sweater and some jeans. Okay. I'm not going to show any photos of that because other people are in the photos with me and I like to respect other people's privacy. So I'm not going to show photos of my holiday party. I did not take any pictures by myself for that. So I'm just going to leave that where it's at. All right. But that's the first pattern that I want to do. The second pattern is 6706 which is kind of like a um poncho style jacket um with a hood now i love this when i when this pattern came out i was so like yes i want to sew it this is one that i could see myself making two or three times i have this nice colored fleece that i am dying to sew up pretty soon that i want to share with you guys so that is the second one that I plan on doing. For this pattern, I plan on doing view A on the pattern. I don't know if I said it for 6740, I plan on doing B for that pattern. This one, I plan on doing A, all right? So let's talk about that last pattern. The last pattern is 6683. For this pattern, it's just a basic, like easy to sew Mrs. Dress, all right? And for this pattern, I plan on doing view A on this pattern. It's a super simple. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I don't know if I said this before, I love turtlenecks. And when I seen this pattern, it's been in my stash for a while, okay? This pattern has been in my stash. And I felt like I don't use a lot of knit. What other fabrics can I use to do this dress? Because whenever you lose your sojo, it's best to do a pattern with five to seven pattern pieces or less to get you back in the habit of wanting to sew. So this would do that after sewing these last two coats. I'm going to need a lot of quick and easy projects to get me back into sewing after I'm going to take a, a week long break from sewing um, <laughs> after I finish these last two jackets. Okay. So yeah, it's, I still have one more to go. Um, I'll be sharing those this upcoming video, but that's it for the pattern options for the fleece and Navidad you know, fleece edition pattern options. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.